it has been a busy past few weeks. I don't think there's ever been a point in my life where my head has been so just full. It's been so busy that I had to get a small notebook to carry with me because I could tell I was starting to get forgetful. And so I've made a list of what we've done, what we have to do, things like that. Uh, number one, get a small pocket-sized note. Uh, well, it's my final couple weeks of work. I mean, time has just flown by. So today is Monday, uh, May 10th. So three more weeks left of uh, this routine. And just like that, it's Friday. Now down to two weeks left. And then we met with a realtor uh, about selling the house. We were going to wait until mid-June to sell it uh, or to get out sometime in July. Within a couple days, she called us and said some people wanted to look at the house. And so uh, we did just a little bit. We, meaning uh, my wife, did a lot of painting of the trim and, and touching up paint around the house and we cleaned the house and stuff like that to prepare it. And then we cleared out one evening for a couple hours. We're gonna have to leave the house here in a little bit because someone's coming by to look at it. To possibly... Yeah, I hope they, I hope they don't buy it. And then the very next morning, we got a call from the realtor. Well, listen, I, I think um, if you guys are willing, this is going to work out. Oh, really? They yeah. want the house, yes. Wow. They are willing to wait to July. And then Shuva's mom and stepdad came um, from Wisconsin uh, just this past weekend to load up just a, a bunch of our non-essential... Um, items, uh, just old books and uh, stuff like that, to take to their house in Wisconsin and hold on to it um, until we move up that way and uh, then it'll be closer to where we'll be in South Dakota just to pick up some of that stuff. I did get a better sense of just how much we have and also just how we've tucked things into so many corners of this house. This house has six levels. This is the basement and the garage is just a few steps up from here. Just a few more steps up from here is the first floor. This is the first floor and just a few steps up that way is the second floor. This is the second floor and then another staircase takes you up to the third floor, master bedroom, master bathroom. Little windy like staircase. Third floor bedroom. Open this door and another Small staircase. Finally, the attic. And Shuva has been working tirelessly on a rug that she had on her loom uh, so we could uh, get that um, disassembled and, and, uh, and so they could take that with them. She's been working on this rug off and on for 10 years. Well, I had to put a lot of this on hold because I had to do a bunch of... I chose to do a bunch of painting and stuff when we found out that someone was going to prematurely come and look at our house before it was even up for sale. Um, so I had to kind of kick it into high gear, switch from just decluttering the house and working on my, on my rug to patching the chipped woodwork, the, the paint in the woodwork, and doing all that so that it would kind of look a little fresher for prospective buyers. And so now it's the eve before my parents come to help dissemble the loom. She hasn't finished it yet. I'm also trying to find an engine for my uh, green pickup truck. Now, that's not, a, that's not very essential. I, I already have a truck. I don't even need it. But I love, love uh, 70s and 80s Chevy pickup trucks. My grandpa bought this. 1984 Chevrolet Custom Deluxe three-quarter ton pickup truck in 1984. There's a picture of me in it. I think the very first day he got it. It was a brand new truck. And when I was a senior in high school, there was a slideshow where you would uh, show a picture of yourself as a kid and then a picture of yourself as you were your senior year. So I tried to recreate the photo. This is 1984 and this is uh, 2001. Mind you, before digital cameras and stuff like that, you really couldn't line things up quite as well. So, you know, it was okay. There's a picture of my grandpa. There's the truck in the background. There's a picture of me when I was 20, eating a delightful sandwich in the truck. There's a picture of me enjoying a delightful soda in the truck. Speaking of trucks, 
I got a hitch installed on my white pickup truck because I'll either need to be uh, hauling a trailer full of furniture to South Dakota or or getting a bigger truck to do that and then and then also having a car hauler on the white truck to I actually haven't figured any of that out yet and of course in the midst of all of this uh, you know we're still parents we're still um, trying to get our kids outside of the house and 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 so we're not just focusing on packing or moving or planning or stuff like that so going to the park, going on hikes, going to get ice cream, things of that nature, just to, to take ourselves away from it for a little bit. I guess one thing that's really not on the list to begin with is telling people, friends, family, neighbors, whatever, and, and uh, just kind of letting people know and uh, uh, being a little more just public about it, um, that, that this is happening and, and, you know, that kind of thing. And I will say, uh, us Hoosiers, we're not, we're not the most inquisitive people. I will tell someone, hey, I'm moving away. And then they will say, oh, well, did I ever tell you about that time I thought I saw Ed Asner at Kroger's? And so here we are, it's Sunday, it's the end of a very busy week, and um, I did my usual uh, evening ritual where I got a little bit of whiskey and got a can of sparkling water and a cup, threw in some ice cubes just so I could uh, have a nice drink or two or three and just kind of relax, chill out, go to my happy place, which is always having a couple drinks and watching the Rockford Files complete series. But then tonight, right as I started doing that, out of nowhere, the first line of the 4-H pledge popped into my head. I pledge my head to clearer thinking. Yes, clearer thinking. That's not to say um, I've gone completely teetotaler or anything like that. That's just to say I can't have a couple drinks, put on some Rockford files, and just zone out. That's okay to do every now and then, but I need to stay on my game. I need to keep an active and clear mine, imagination.